Hi, I'm Beth Armstrong. I'm the Associate Director of Recruiting at VaynerMedia. I've previously worked at Deutsch Advertising, Saatchi & Saatchi, and Ogilvy & Mather. Let's dive into these resumes. I will start by saying I love a designed resume. Every recruiter will have their own preference, but I appreciate this layout. I think it's nice and clean. It's not too overly crowded. Pictures on resumes is a hot button issue with us recruiters. Some of us really don't like it. I'm indifferent to it personally. The name is nice and big at the top, but my first impression is, oh my God, words. This is cluttered feeling and making me feel a little claustrophobic. I almost feel like you would benefit from changing the layout so you can fit more words on the page. I want you to represent yourself well, and I feel like a cluttered resume like this is a is a bit of a turnoff to the to a recruiter. I love your education section. It's very clear. However, it's very long. You could definitely cut it down a bit. Bachelor of Arts Advertising, um, Bachelor of Arts Psychology, you could say I'm a double major. I don't need this expected graduation date. You have 2016, 2019 right here. GPA, I know some recruiters really love knowing people's GPAs. I don't care either way if it's on your resume or not. I don't need a full address. Uh, a lot of people are still putting full addresses in there. I don't need to know your street, your house number. I don't need that information. I just need to know your location. New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, where are you? Let's move over to this side. Objective. I love that it says a lot about you, but it doesn't tell me where you're looking to go. How can I help you? Your resume is a message to the recruiter. How can I help you achieve your career goals? That's what this objective is for. Sometimes I get lost when I see resumes like this because there are so many different internships you've had that focus on different things. Um, just make it clear when you are applying to a job what you're interested in and what your motivation is. Let's look at your experience. First thing I'm noticing is that a later date is at the bottom part of the resume. I would bump this up. You want your resume to go from most recent to past. You wanna make sure that everything that you're presently doing is in present tense. So manage and monitor social media accounts on a daily basis. With this resume, what I'm noticing is that you like to put all your eggs in a basket. Let's divide them up and better define what these roles were and break down your bullet points. I want to say that you're hiding your accomplishments a little bit with all the just lumping everything together. Don't be afraid to show off everything that you've done, delivering key insights to develop effective and unique strategies. That is a meaty sentence. I know what that is. I know exactly what you've done. That's very cool. Feel free to go onto two pages. I know a lot of people try to keep it on one. It's okay to go onto two, just so long as it makes sense to go onto two. If it's like two sentences that run onto the second page, try to make it fit you know, onto one. Lead a team of eight planners. I love it. Shows that you have management experience, I love that you have leadership in here. This is so lovely. I love that you're a co-founder. It shows that you're entrepreneurial. I love that you have your awards listed. You know, in advertising, we love our awards. I love that you do have these certifications with media. These are so hot right now. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I wish you the best of luck with graduation. This is a really exciting time. I'm Beth Armstrong, signing out.